Hey, John Ferguson Smart here. What's the difference between test-driven development and behavior-driven development? Test-driven development is a developer-focused activity. It's where developers describe and document, basically write specifications for their code before they write the code. And they write those specifications in the form of unit tests. So those specifications are descriptions of the inputs, the outputs, descriptions of the, uh, the behavior, not descriptions of the implementation. That's very important. They describe the behavior of the code that they are going to write. And what's BDD? Well, BDD is where you have a conversation with your business folk, with your users. You describe the behavior of the application. Again, not in terms of implementation. You don't describe clicking on a button, entering a value, clicking on a field. You don't describe that. You describe the inputs and the outputs. You describe the business rules. You describe user journeys. You describe high level behavior, what the user is really interested in. How does the user get value out of the system? Now you can see both TDD and BDD talk about behavior. They describe the behavior of the system at different levels and ideally there's a there's a flow there's a, uh, a basically a, a flow between your high level acceptance criteria your high level executable specifications that you define with your business folk and then that flows into a lower level as you move into the system components and the uh, the lower level details now the beauty of that approach is that as you go down, you will get a very high coverage. You'll test your high level business flows, the scenarios that the business really care about. As you move down, you'll test edge cases and variations and, and exception cases. And as you go down, you get more and more detailed describing the behavior of different components. But at a certain point, you're going to have covered all the behavior that you need to cover and the implementation well that's just implementation detail you don't need to test implementation specifically if you test the behavior and what that means is you can get a lot of coverage with much fewer tests than a traditional approach where you're trying to do a lot of end-to-end -end testing a lot of integration testing maybe a lot of unit testing as well which can take a lot of time if you do this what we call an outside-in approach you're basically driving your behavior from the top down, from the outside in, from the high level outcomes and building it out saying, okay, what do we do next? What value can we contribute next? How do we prove that that works? And then you write a test for that. And then if you need more detail, you say, right, we're going to implement another component under the hood. How, what, how does that work? What are the inputs? What are the outputs? Do we need to document that for future reference? And in that case, you write a test for it. But you only write the tests that you need to document the behavior at each level. And this is a really smooth process, particularly when you get developers involved very, very early in this automation. Basically, I see BDD and TDD as a continuum, a smooth flow. It's not a separate set of tests for BDD and TDD. It's one smooth flow. So. I'd like to hear your thoughts as well. Let me know how your, you work in your team with the connection between acceptance tests, high level tests, and more detailed unit tests. And if the approach that I've just described, if, if you can relate to that. Okay, that's all for now, folks. Thanks for listening.